Yo, what's going on, Washers and Commanders fans? I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be giving you guys the injury report, Friday's injury report. Uh, I'm going to be giving you guys some keys to victory on how we can beat the Vikings on sun in Sunday's game. And, yeah, some improvements. Some improvements that need to be made from Ron Rivera. And, yeah, let's get into it. But before I do, make sure you guys like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and, yeah, Road to 500 subscribers. We're almost close. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you guys for all the support. And yeah, let's get into it. So for the commanders, Jahan Dotson is out. Um, they already confirmed that he would be out. But you know, Ron Rivera did speak a little. Um, he said Ron Rivera said that Jahan Dotson has had a couple of really good days, and Ron and Ron Rivera thinks his return could come. Next Monday against Philly, Ron says Dotson has, will probably have a vigorous pregame workout this Sunday at FedEx Field. So it looks like they're going to try to get him acclimated for the Eagles game, which, yeah, I was kind of expecting it, for expecting Dotson to come back for the Philly game. But, you know, if he doesn't come back by the Philly game, I will be kind of worried. So hopefully we can get him back in here before then. I mean, before, yeah, the Philly game. Um, so if he's not practicing, like, if he's not practicing by at least Thursday of next week, I will be so worried. So, yeah, this is what we get for rushing a, another hamstring injury. We try to do the same thing with Curtis Samuel. If we would have just let Dotson rest for another week or two, Dotson would have been able to play uh, either against that Packers game or he could have came back in that Colts game. But, of course, we rushed him back too early, and now we got to pay the price. But moving on, uh, Cole Holcomb is out with the foot. So it looks like, um, it looks like based off of what Pete Haley said, he said Cole Holcomb and David Mayo will both be out this weekend. Look for Jamin Davis and Cam Curl to fill these voids at the second level. So it looks like, you know, uh, Jamin Davis and Cam Curl will be filling the voids for those two. Um, so we're not going to be using Bostic, which is a good thing. I mean, he wasn't really bad last week. Um, I didn't hear his name much. So that's pretty much, I mean, that's what you, you don't really want to hear Bostic's name. So I'm, I'm just going to assume he did okay. Um, I'm not going to really, you know, look into all of that. But all I know is that Bostic is not a guy you want to be relying on. So, yeah, it looks like Cam Curl and even a little bit of Derek Force will play a big factor. Um, uh, we're going to see a lot of safety sets. So don't be surprised when we see a lot of safety sets. Um, and then J.D. McKissick with the neck injury. It seems like this neck injury has lingered on from last year. Um, neck injuries tend to take a bit, so I'm not even shocked that this neck injury thing has been bothering him. He does not look like the same J.D. McKissick before the Seahawks game. Because that Seahawks game is when he suffered this, uh, the neck injury. And yeah, neck injuries could take up to years to heal from, so... I I don't know. I really don't know with McKissick, but he has not been playing good. Or, you know, I mean, he doesn't really get touches, but um, when he does, I don't really think he makes an impact. So that's just um, my point of view on that. Uh, hope you get better, J.D. McKissick, but um, that neck injury seems to be a little concerning for me. And then Shaka Tony is questionable. Um... I don't know. I think he'll be a game time decision. I think he might play. Um, and then everybody else is good. And then now, uh, the Vikings are pretty healthy, except De uh, Dalvin Thomason with the calf injury. Their D lineman, like one of their best D linemen. That's pretty much it, though. Cam Dancer is gonna play. I'm pretty sure he was he's he was full on Friday. He's gonna play. And then Jalen Naylor, uh, he's gonna play too. Um. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Zadari Smith playing, Adam Thielen. And then now I'm going to get into the keys to victory. So, for me, the keys to victory is Ron Rivera's got to be better. Off the bat, Ron Rivera's got to be better 
with time management, the halftime, you know, just letting the clock run out. He even, like, uh, he does that even, like, when the game is about to be over. Um, he had me jumping out of my seat, honestly, in that at, at that halftime. Like, we were up. We could have had that field goal would have been a really big uh, shift in momentum for us. Like, that really could have just... We could have been dominating that whole game, but I feel like we kept the Colts in the game at some point, so Ron Rivera's got to be better with that. Another uh, penalties. You know, I don't really, I don't know if we had a lot of penalties, but um, pretty sure Wild Goose did have a couple. Of, maybe that was the last game, the the game prior to that. But uh, yeah, penalties. You know, penalties do hurt us, especially on the offensive side of the ball. We did have a couple of offensive penalties, so we really got to um, tighten up on offense. No penalties this game, or if so, please limit that. Um, another thing, uh, you know, since since our linebacker, uh, Cole Holcomb, is out, um, communication is going to be key um, in the backfield for us on defense, so... Yeah, really got to communicate there. Uh, again, feed Terry McLaurin the ball. I'm going to say this every time I make these game previews. Um, yeah, feed Terry McLaurin the football. You see what happens when he got the ball. He literally sunned Stephon Gilmore. Not too many corn, uh, receivers can do that. Um, mind you, Gilmore is getting older, but even then, some receivers just can't do that. Um you know, obviously, like, the top 10 receivers can, but that's not most of the league. And, yeah, um, if you could try to uh, run the football a little bit better, like, Robinson didn't really run the football good. Um, but, you know, if Robinson doesn't do good, then Gibson, you know, feed Gibson. If Gibson doesn't do good that game, feed Robinson. So it really just goes like that. Uh, but hopefully those two could really spark something in our run game. If not, you know what to do. Feed Terry and get other guys going like Curtis Samuel. Curtis Samuel had a good game. Feed Curtis Samuel and Terry McLaurin. Um, what else? What else? Uh, oh, get pressures. Kirk Cousins does not do really no quarterback does good under pressure unless you're Patrick Mahomes, uh, Unless you're Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, and all those other quarterbacks like Josh Allen. So, get in Kirk Cousins' face. Um, you know, they're going to be trying to get the ball out of Kirk Cousins' hands. That's really their offense. You know, these play-action passes, that's literally the Vikings' offense. So, um, they're going to be running a lot of play-action passes. And also try to, like, at least limit um, Justin Jefferson. Um, you know, under at least like 130 yards. Um, and we're, we're going to be double teaming him a lot. I would really like to see Benjamin St. Juice follow Justin Jefferson. But yeah, that's pretty much my keys to victory. Like, I really just want to see Benjamin uh, St. Juice. Like, this is probably his tough, his toughest task um, since probably A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. So, yeah, this is really going to be a tough a tough tough game um my prediction for this game is we're gonna lose um i'm gonna go 26 to 20 the vikings uh yeah it, it's it's gonna i think it's gonna be close um vikings really don't blow teams out but when they i, I don't think they've blown anybody out if i'm not mistaken I don't remember them blowing anyone out. And if it was, it was way earlier in the season. Because I remember looking at their scoreboards from, like, games ago, and they have a lot of close games. Uh, even the Cardinals game was close all the way up until, like, really the very end. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for me today. I think we end up losing this game 26-20. to 20. Uh, Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Sorry this video is going out a little late. Had other things to do. But... Yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, peace. Let's get this dub on Sunday. Hail to the Commanders.